Basing her question on 2 Thessalonians 2.11, she asks, Will those who have rejected Christ prior to the rapture have no hope of accepting him afterwards? In that case, they would be hopelessly and eternally lost. Well, when you state it like that, you haven't quite said what Paul had in mind. Paul says that those that get to hear the gospel today and reject it and keep on rejecting it, and even the rapture of the church will not change them. They'd still reject it, will cause them to believe a lie. Now, that's actually true today. Have you noticed this, that most of the people that are in cults today, most of those people have come out of churches, that is, the old line churches, Methodist, Baptist, Presbyterian, what have you. And they've been in them and could have been maybe in a pretty dead church. Well, some of them are in a pretty dead church. And they see these cults very active and alive, and they get connected with them. And the interesting thing to me is that practically everyone that I've ever met that's gone into a cult or a Christian that I've known that went into a cult, it's because of the fact that they heard the truth, and they were not a Christian, of course. They heard the truth. They probably were a cosmetic Christian. They gave the outward form of being a Christian, but they never really accepted Christ as their Savior, never attempted to grow in grace and in the knowledge of Him, had no desire to know the Lord Jesus. Well, the cult comes along and picks them off, and that's the reason that one of the cults we came back home off of a speaking trip and got in on Sunday morning. And we didn't have time to go to church. And so somebody rang the doorbell, and it was somebody from a cult. Well, I soon got rid of him and her. It was a couple. And they were coming around. It was around 10 or 10.30 in the morning. Now, they were coming around at that time. Why did they come around at that time? Because they wanted to find people at home who ordinarily belong to a church and ordinarily go, but they stay home a great deal. They may not be as active. They may be a little cold. That's the kind of person they'd like to meet because they got something that's hot out of the oven, and they want to tell them about it, you see. And it's those folk that go into cults today. So you'll have that same thing at the time of the rapture. There'll be people at the time of the rapture that it will alert them. And they said, my dear mother told me about this, and I didn't believe her, and now she's gone. And that person will accept Christ. But there'll be another group that will have some excuse to offer for not accepting Christ and they are the ones that will believe a lie. And I think that these people today that have heard the gospel and rejected it, they're candidates for every cult that comes along, every lie that's being told today.